handsome shot. Well, you may see back foot shots as good as this, but you won't see them as powerful. You just play it well. You just hit it hard. As in the Pakistan innings, a, a great percentage of runs coming from boundaries. That was the 26th, so well over half of this England score in fours. Robin Smith nearly nicked this. He's nearly got an underside edge. Try to stay above the ball. Wacky Eunice, not as his top pace. Not for me, anyhow. I thought Richie Benno made the point yesterday that uh, having come back from that injury, he just looks a touch, uh, I wouldn't say chest on, but not quite as round and sideways on as he used to be before the injury. Having failed to score 100 in his first 13 tests, he's then put three in the book in the next four. That's it. Fine 100, a very positive one, because he had his moments of uncertainty yesterday against the leg spin of Mustak Ahmed, but uh, he still went for his shots, and that completes uh, Extraordinary run, really, of four hundreds for England in five test matches, and in fact, four hundreds in eight innings. Eighteen fours, one hundred and thirty-two balls. Plays that shot so well. Really, is one of the cleanest hitters in uh, English cricket. Beautifully balanced to be able to pick that length and do this to it. That boundary brought up the 200 for England and took Stewart on to uh, 111. Now, was that a catch? It looks from the bowlers attitude that he thinks it was yes i think it was i think robin smith is, is trying to dominate him he's trying to get there he just hits it straight back at him and he's absolutely mortified the bowler simple catch like that he's first over and he's put it down and that's what you get Only 143 balls, that is a very, very good strike rate. It's a cracking shot. It's been rain overnight, but uh, that umbrella will have covered it. Very high proportion of boundaries uh, in those bowling figures because Alex Stewart, except for a single this morning, has hit all boundaries in the runs he's made. That is great. 60% of uh, dismissals bowled or LBW. And you could have no better underlining of uh, the strength of Robin Smith with that back foot shot on the offside. Magnificent shot by Robin Smith there. There's that extra yard of pace. That's very well bowled. 
just that extra yard of pace. Well, he went wide of the crease there, and uh, umpire Kitchen working out what the angle would have been. I think we shall see that this was leg side. Yeah, it's quite wide in the crease there, as Jack said. The ball angling in and continuing comfortable to miss that leg step. Ebola at Roman. It's coming out from the pavilion end in place of uh, Waka Yunus. Alex Stewart, uh, her strike. With disdain. Well, he's played this shot before as Alex Stewart. But just the same, he dismisses it quite easily. Lovely improvised pull shot. Yep. 150 for Stewart. That's a splendid performance. for Robin Smith. Now Mustak Ahmed to Alex Stewart. Great way to start the afternoon session for Stewart. First ball he's faced, it's gone for four. That brings up the 300 for England. And this is the young seam bowler, Atta Uraymang. And away that goes for four. Oh, now there is as good a ball as you could ever get from a leg spinner. Robin Smith smiles and uh, deserved everything. Just look at this. That's, that's, that's absolutely Jaffa. It's a great shot, really, from Stuart, because... Uh, I'll tell you what, there was not much room there for him to do that. And that had to be perfectly timed to beat the third man, who'd got no more than 20 yards to run round. And that was a brilliantly executed shot, and a fitting one, really, to bring up the 200 stand. <laughs> well, it's the first streaky shot, really, that you can think about. One of the few records left is the 411 partnership between Peter May and Colin Cowdery on the ground. But, uh, who knows, we've got well over another session, nearly two sessions left. Oof, well he managed to get himself in a terrible knot there. <laughs> and it kept low. It did. It it kept low, but I think uh, at the same time, as uh, we'll see here, the ball not bouncing at all. Alec uh, Stewart, last delivery he received from Mushtaq, was the only false stroke that I can think of that he played during his long innings. And I think he needs to concentrate, start concentrating once again harder, because he's slightly losing that touch. Loud 
heard shout and a firm denial. Well, I suppose you do get a bit excited if you get one past the bat. Ball from wide of the crease. Missing leg stump and high. That's the goal. Well, at least he keeps smiling as much that. Good delivery again. He's uh, certainly caused a few problems for Robbie Smith since lunch. Well, that's well bowled again. We only had Robin Smith reaching for that last delivery. Just tends to get his front foot there a little bit early sometimes, Robin Smith, and then it's on the wrong line. You see there, the pad was on the line of the ball, and he had to readjust, but it was well bowled. Ah, oh, good shot. It's a quicker ball, and he used the pace. And Stewart's been reading Mushtrak well. And again, he waited. Yes, this is one of the advantages for the England batsmen. They've been able to spend a long time at the wicket. And even if you struggle at the start, by the time you've been in a few hours, you do begin to read the bowler. And that could stand them in good stead throughout the series. Just like a benefit match now. Sunday afternoon benefit match. Waka Yunis. Nice short name. Signed that many times, I'm sure, in his future. He's gone, he's gone. A miscue by Alex Stewart on 190. And Atto Raymond's taken his first test match with it. And the stunts have still not been hit. That's been a magnificent news by Alex Stewart. This person, glorious shot, a lot of power, but he was beginning to look just a little bit tired. And I think that was probably good about his downfall. Just a little bit of a tired shot. But a marvellous innings. Court Sally Malik, Bold Rimmon, 190. And in comes Mark Remprakash. Well, that career record doesn't look too impressive, but a lot of those runs were made against the West Indies when Although Rampakash didn't get a big score, he did bat for a long time. Only once or twice on not right good wickets either, so I think his career average is far better than what it looks. Oh, they shout and the finger goes up and Rampakash looks quite surprised. It's beautifully bowled. On a flat wicket without bounce, he got a little bit of lift there. And how often have we seen that happen, Raymond? A big partnership followed by some poor victim who gets naught. Well, I was saying it's not necessarily a good time to come in after a big partnership, and so it proved, but that was a fine delivery. It certainly got some bounce from somewhere. There's been very little bounce in this pitch throughout the match. Both from wide-ish, and in short, probably a little bit shorter than we thought originally, but uh, certainly climb. That's good bowling by the young man. Well, you saw there, Alan Lamb, not really much idea about this. It's a little push, a lot of right hand. He's walking into the shot, and the ball spun away off the outside edge. Not very convincing. That's a wonderful shot. He has hammered that. I don't know if his bat stood up to the strain, but... It was a great shot. And there's another one. Beautiful stroke. No chance of cutting that off. And Robin Smith's century comes up. A very good hand. He's had one or two moments of indecision against uh, the leg spinner, Mushtaq Ahmed.
That's a good shot. Beautifully placed. Caught him, wicket number three. Lamb goes for 12, and the youngster's having a field day. I don't know what you think of that for a dismissal, Geoffrey. Well, I just said that Alan Lamb, he does play shots. Uh, he's always going to score or get out. Just a touch too soon. What a start for Lewis. That's the end of his over. Smile despite that four, and uh, he's got good figures. There they are, three for 67, but uh, since lunch, 12 overs, five maidens, three for 36. Now, did he get a nick? I'm sure he did. Inside edge, not an easy one. Now, if that's the other one playing no shot, that's close. Now, let's have a look how much it did and how high it was. There it is, putting outside. And, well, that is very close. And on comes Wacky Yunis. Well, that was a, a quality shot. Wacker's not impressed, but uh, there was a turn of the wrists there from, from Chris Lewis. a wonderful shot because there are two fielders out there and that brings up the 400 also makes this afternoon session worth more than 100 runs 299 for two it was at lunch 402 for five so a lively session Cracking shot. He'll get the ball up to Christos. He doesn't mind this ground. Played very well here last year. Yeah, Chris Lewis prefers the ball coming on a little bit quicker. And that was a good shot. Short, just outside off stump. How many times have we seen that ball dispatched in this match? Well, there's Mike Malou on the field. I don't think Sally Mullick's going to be too pleased with that. It was a very laid back piece of fielding. Fielder ran round and uh, didn't even bother to go down for it. back, Mushtaq Ahmed has his first wicket, now there's a good lesson for everyone, he's toiled away, all the way through 43 and a half overs, he's beaten the bat, confused the batsman at times, they've carted him around the ground as well and all of a sudden he gets his first wicket with the batsman dragging one back on from the inside edge, rubber the green or luck of the game, whatever you like. Yes, it's a well wide, two feet wide. Lewis down for a mighty shot over cover, inside edge, and that's the first time the stumps have been into the match. Jack Russell is the new batsman.
And that's uh, one of Jack's favourite shots if we drop it short. Likes to play that, but you can see the cheeks blowing out with uh, some relief. Well, this is right. He's been hemmed in by all the fielders, but when he gets something he thinks he can hit, take a chance, whack it. Oh, well, how didn't that bowl him? I'll never know. A good effort, but four by is signalled. That'll be fascinating to watch again. We see here that the ball is well pitched up, almost uh, too well pitched up. Long hop. Robin Smith wades into that one. Scores are level now with Pakistan. Oh, that's out. Beautifully bowled. It's quicker, flatter trajectory, and Robin Smith thrust onto the back foot. Simply couldn't pick him. Classic bit of bowling. But also a splendid innings by Robin Smith. 127 LBW bowled Mishtuk Army. With the scores even, 446. England lose their seventh wicket. Well, you'll see here the...